Biomedical engineering is an evolving discipline that brings together fundamentals in biology, technology, engineering, design and mathematics to solve uh, real world problems, whether it's you know image analysis for better diagnostics or rehabilitation uh, to assist with head injuries or the design of a cell to better target a cancer. And one of the really unique things about uh, biomedical engineering at UBC is that we're bringing uh, solutions to these problems across scales. And we're able to do that because of this partnership between engineering and medicine that has really catalyzed the creation of the school. The new facility that the School of Biomedical Engineering is uh, working on and really rapidly building and establishing is going to bring in a lot of talents with different disciplines and that is really what makes biomedical engineering strong where people have different backgrounds and different passion and then you bring them together and they're now in one unique place with state-of-the-art equipment. Traditionally you found that you know, engineers were over in one silo, biologists were over in another silo, and they really didn't speak the same language. What SBME does is it brings these two groups together and they learn how to speak languages that they can each understand. The other thing is we're hoping we'll bring in a lot of clinicians because the current gap is between getting engineers and biologists to talk more to the clinical people, find out what the subtleties of the real world problems that they can help with. Then I think you're going to see, you know, technologies that help cure disease much more rapidly than we ever have seen in the past. This new building uh, is really going to be a flagship building for, for UBC in Canada. Whether you're from industry and you want to interact with academia or you're with academia and you want to meet community members, this is the place where those uh, collisions will happen. Uh, so there's this interface between what we're doing in the school and how that uh, the impact of that comes out into society.